up guys welcome back to the channel today we are down here at dorado golf course it's a par 62 it plays 3751 yards slope of 88 rating 58.9 this course has been here a while it's right in the middle of uh downtown i haven't practiced hitting my uh, irons yet since i've kind of worked on my swing so we'll see how that goes i'll keep the driver in the car today shouldn't need that so hopefully we have a good round and i hope you guys enjoy the video all right so we're here hole one Got, uh, we're going to be playing from the Blue Tees. Like I said, it's very uh, retirement community type golf course. So it's really short, uh, really simple, not very elaborate. It's 287 from the back. On this one, it's a par four. And handicap is five on this hole. So try to hit one down there pretty smooth. Get it in the fairway. It's pretty straight up. There's a tree out here. So we're going to try to put it up short on the right side up there. Leave us a good line in. So I've got a pretty good feeling that uh it's gonna be a long day today like i said it's a retirement community and uh they're halfway down the fairway on a 287 yard par four and are like hitting their third or fourth shots Yeah, I'm left side of the fairway, not where I wanted to be, but as long as I find a fairway, I'm all right with it. So coming up to my ball, I'm actually way short of where I wanted to. It's still a decent four iron, probably like 205, 210, something like that. But it's a good thing because it left me short of these trees right here. Maybe I'll be able to get up and over those trees with this shot. Pins right in the middle back there, using a 60 degree. Pin high up on the right side, just off the green. Lift the club face up in a little bit. Push it out to the right. We're gonna see if we can get up and down. In all reality, probably an okay shot. Look how tiny these little greens are. It'll be a long putt for par. First putt on these greens, so have no idea how quick they are. Let's go. It's a good par number one. Guys, really huge shout out to Dorado Country Club. It's pretty awesome. They let me come down here and play around totally for free. And then the guy also threw in, this is not it, but threw in a little uh, course ball as well. No charge. So this is what we're looking at on this one. 140 yard, par three. Straight up, straight at the pin. I'm gonna use a nine iron. So we got 140, pins at the front. Just a little nine iron. Try to keep it straight, real slow, smooth swing. Landed on the back, just right side, caught it kind of clean. Have to get up and down for par. This is the lie that we got, not too bad. It's all funneling kind of down to the pin. Looks like it's kind of sloping to the right just a little bit. So we're gonna put it up there, let it run down, get up and down, make a par. We got hole three, 259 yards. Put it pretty close, get up and down for birdie. Straight down, kind of bends around a little bit to the left. Not anything real crazy though. We'll just stripe one down there and get it in the center. That's all we can hope for. Right side, maybe in the rough. Looks like it's just right side of the fairway, though. I'm not really striking any of my irons well right now. That was just a little bit, a uh, little bit fadey. 
Hello dogs. Also guys, if you notice, I'm breathing a little bit hard. <laughs> Cause I'm an idiot and I thought I would uh, walk with my cart bag. <laughs> so yeah, it's getting a little bit heavy already. And this is only hole three, so I wish me luck. All right guys, coming up on my ball. I did catch the fairway. But man, is it in some nasty stuff. This stuff right here is just so thick and grabby. Oh, it's gonna be a little heavy. Not a very good uh, shot. Really blew it on that one. I think it might have even rolled the green. One cut left. Just gotta get it rolling. Ah. Good pace. That was another really stupid mistake on that first putt. I should have gave it a little bit more. But now, new hole, it's a par four. 180 yards from the blues. Actually, no, sorry, hole four, par three, 180 yards from the blues. All right, guys, board says it's 180. A uh, little bit uphill, not much, but uh, I've got a seven iron in hand. Usually it goes about 170, 175, something like that. So if I can hit the front of the green, run up, get a good putt at birdie. Just went left the fairway, didn't fade over quite enough. I think we found some dirt, so. Also caught that very, very thin. Like I was saying to you guys, for some reason today, the, the depth is just not there. I'm either chunking it or I'm topping it. We're gonna get there though. A lot more golf to play. All right guys, here we are. Just found the bunker. Got a really tiny green to work with here. Try to land it just right on the front. Maybe like right up here, let it roll out somewhere close. We'll see how it goes. Well, that was not what we were looking for out of the bunker. If any of you guys have ever played golf in Arizona, you understand the bunkers. They're like concrete. Unless you're playing at like high-end golf course and stuff like that. This is certainly not one of those. Went a little bit long. Landed it pin high, rolled out after, or past the green, should I say. <sighs> Got a little chip and putt. Guys, that was all mental. That grass over there, if you could see, it was like snagging my club up. So I added just a little bit too much juice on it. Ended up catching it pretty clean. Came out way too far. Got quite a long putt now. For no, but I actually had a little bit of a right break on it. Second guess myself. It was a par three. Sunk it in five, not what I was looking for today, especially not on a, a course this easy, really is the only way to say it. New hole, on the hole five. We got a par three, 162. That's what we needed. All right, here I am. Buddy Danny showed up to play with me. Try to knock this sucker in. Thought it was gonna run faster than that. Green regulation. 
three putt for bogey. Just on the back? So we decided to skip that hole. We're jumping a hole eight. Tired of waiting on these guys. 162, par three. Straight up. So 162 is gonna be eight iron. Hey, what do you guys know? Another terrible shot. So we got about probably 25 yards left in. Pins at the front. Dogs are barking. Doesn't look good for par on this one. Thankfully, I came back with a decent chip. But don't count me out. Nothing is guaranteed. Daniel Selby from United States Air Force. Got a good look at it for birdie. Should I go ahead and put it in now? Yep, just go ahead and put her in. Stay up, stay up. Oh, good lag though. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Jesus. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. So, I heard that there is a set of Wilson C300s and an M5 driver for sale after today. <laughs> Not but seriously, stuff like that really, really sucks. New hole. All right, hole nine, 243, par four. Good ball. Oh, stay right. Kick right. Swing through it, finish that swing. So, excuse of the day, put it in the comments. Why am I playing bad? I need an excuse, you always need an excuse. I need a lot of them today. Terrible golf, terrible. Missed it too far right, struggling today. All right guys, we're done killing ourselves out here. We're just gonna grab a few clubs out of the bag. I've got a, uh, a four, a seven, and a 56. We're just gonna focus on making good shots. Let's see what we can do. 158, par three. Oh, stay there, it's gonna be good. Left side of the green, yep. It's another par three, 165 straight up. I'll be the number. Sorry, you guys got to see just today. At least Danny's here, though. You'll be able to uh, see a couple good shots anyway. Oh, these are like Velcro, dude. <laughs> Dude, when that came off the face, I was like, that's a mile past it. All right, we actually have a somewhat of a par four, so 325. The first one where you could even use the driver on and would be easy to probably drive the green if you know where it was at. So missed right on that one back here. Uh, it was actually a little bit closer to that, but I moved it back because I don't really care. Um, and I'm not gonna get a ricochet ball to the mouth. Selby's out there in the fairway, about 100 yards out. Maybe 
be able to see that one down. We're on the green. Made it. Little birdie look. Crushed it. This is like a carpet, dude. I know. This is not gonna... Oh. Got 128 here, par three, right over a bunker. Alright, oh, just right side. Got a 56, I'm gonna have to smoke it. Camera battery's getting pretty low, so this is probably gonna be the last hole. We'll play it. Try to end on something good. It's probably gonna be right at the pin. Oh! Dude, dude, that's what, three feet long? Try to hurry up and play so that way. At least get the rest of this hole. Uh, Rough day. Anyways, uh, after that shot, I actually wasn't in too bad of a spot. I did chunk it really fat, only went about 100 yards maybe with a four iron. Ended up getting a good roll, but ended up making a really good recovery shot. Put it about 10 feet right of the pin, so recovered well on that one. I don't know why it wasn't in here. I could have sworn I recorded it, but I'm, I'm going back through editing it, and I can't find it anywhere, so I figured I would explain that to you guys. Oh yeah, good one. First birdie of the day. Let's see the eagle, Dan. Oh. So that's going to do it here today, guys. Glad I finally got to get out and get you guys your cor first course vlog. Unfortunately, the battery's about to die. Extra batteries will be my next investment. A bunch of really bad shots. Decent recovery shots every now and then. A couple good putts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go check out my other videos. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done that. It really helps me out. And uh, look forward to making more content for you guys. So until next time.